Hey friends, it's Kelly. As promised, I am back today with a tutorial on how I edit my photos, transfer my photos from my phone to my computer, and then how I created a template in Photoshop to resize the photos so they fit within my classic Happy Planner boxes. So I'm just showing you a few spreads here. When I get to the photo tutorial, it is just going to be screenshots because I did record it on my phone, but when I transferred the video footage from my phone to my PC, it was kind of choppy. It was difficult to see where I was clicking. So I think the photo still shots that I'm gonna show you will be much more helpful. So I will have a link to a blog post in the description box below that will also have these screenshots along with a step-by-step -step tutorial. So if you want to head to my blog, you can save that to Pinterest and it is something that you can reference over and over again. So starting on your phone, you're going to want to open your photo gallery. And then in the top right hand section, there is a search icon and you're going to want to type in the month and the year that you're wanting to print. Then you're going to want to select your photo, click the share icon on the bottom left hand side, and then I like to use PicMonkey to edit my photos. I find it to be a really quick and simple process. All I have to do is click adjust, and then I use levels, highlights, and contrast to brighten the photo. And then I go up to the top right hand corner and click save. Now when this option comes up to save the photo, I go down to the bottom and click save to Dropbox. I have a folder with the month and the year in Dropbox and I just click save and then it will transfer the photos to Dropbox which will allow me to access them on my PC and then I'm able to easily get them into Photoshop. So now comes time to create the template in Photoshop and I do use Photoshop CC so if you have a previous version of Photoshop the steps may vary just a little bit on what I'm showing you here. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to go want to go up to file and select new and then you're going to want to create a new document that is eight and a half by 11 inches. Again I will have still shots of all of these steps on my blog so that way you can head there if you need to take a look a little bit closer at the settings that I have. But now I have this new blank document in Photoshop and I am going to start by creating a new layer. You create a new layer in the layers panel on the bottom right hand side. It looks like a little square that has the corner flipped up. And then I like to rename my layers according to the number of photos that I'm going to have on this document. So I can fit 20 photos on an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. So I will have 1 through 20 when I am all finished creating this template. So now I'm going to draw a rectangle on the background using the rectangular marquee tool and this rectangle needs to be the size of the box in your happy planner. So I use the classic size happy planner so my box is going to measure 1.5 by 2.4. Then I am going to go to fill which is under the edit tab and now I'm just picking a color to fill that rectangle. It doesn't really matter what color you choose. I prefer to use a dark color because it's easier for me to see the position of the rectangle and the layers panel on the right hand side, but it can really be whatever you'd like it to be. Now I'm going to go back over to layer one in the panel on the right hand side and I'm going to right click and hit duplicate layer and that is going to give me a second box. And I went over to the left hand side of the computer. It looks like a little cross with arrows on it. And that is the move tool. And it just allows me to move around the rectangles on the background. Once I have that positioned, I am going to go back over to the layers panel on the right hand side. Whenever you duplicate a layer, the new layer goes above the current layer. And I like to keep them in order one through 20. So I'm just gonna grab a hold of layer two and I'm gonna drag it underneath layer one and then you'll see that the numbers are in order. And then I'm just going to repeat the same process for the next few layers. And then I'm gonna go ahead and jump to a new screen where I already have all 20 boxes on the background. And you're gonna see that the color changes when I go back to 
the screen that has all 20 on the background because that's actually the template that I've already saved. I didn't want to go through and recreate a new template all the way. I just wanted to show you these beginning steps. So in just a moment, you're going to see all of that completed. But here I'm just going through the steps again in case you want to see it a few more times and I will get those first five on the background. So one of the most important steps is going to come up as soon as I get to this new screen with all 20 of the boxes on the background. You want to make sure once you have this template complete and you have all 20 on the background or however many you want to fit on your document that you save this as a Photoshop document somewhere on your computer. This will allow you to reuse the same template over and over again and you won't have to draw and fill the boxes each time that you want to go back in and use this template. It's super simple. Every month when I'm ready to print my photos, I just go to where I've saved this document on my computer. I open it and it opens exactly as you see it and I'm ready to go ahead and add my photos to the template. So now let's get some photos placed in this template. You're going to want to go to File, Place Embedded, and then you're going to want to go to the Dropbox folder where you have all of your photos saved for the month. Pick the photo that you're wanting to place on the document and then click Place in the bottom right hand corner. Then you're going to see the photo is going to come up as you see it here. You're going to want to click enter on your keyboard that just deselects the photo. And then you're going to want to go to layer, create clipping mask. Then you're going to see that the photo looks like it disappears. But if you look down on the bottom right hand corner, you can see that I have layer 20 selected and you can see just a glimpse of the photo in that box. Then you're going to go to edit and click free transform. While holding the shift key down, you're going to use your mouse and grab the bottom right hand side of the photo and that just shrinks the photo. You can see the outline of the photo and then you're going to make want to make sure that you have your move tool selected on the top left hand side. That's the one that looks like the little cross with the arrows and then you're going to drag the photo back down to where layer 20 is and you'll see the photo reappear and you can see that it is sized to fit perfectly within that box. So I know that the photo will fit in the box on my happy planner. So once you have that photo sized the way that you want it, you're going to want to go to the next layer. So I just moved up a layer on the layers panel to layer 19, and you're going to repeat those same steps. So I went to file, place embedded. I'm going to go ahead and click enter. Then I'm going to go up to layer and create a clipping mask. And then I'm going to use the free transform to resize the photo and then use the move tool to drag it back down to layer 19. Again, I do have step-by-step -step written tutorial on this with the screenshots in case you want to use my blog as a reference if you are trying to go along with me in Photoshop to create your own template. And then you'll just repeat those same steps moving up a layer each time until you have your document full of photos. And one thing that I do want to mention when you're using the free transform to resize the photo, the reason that you have to hold the shift key down while you are moving the photo or shrinking the photo is if you do not hold the shift key down, it will totally skew how your photo looks and it will look completely unproportional. So now once you have all of the boxes full, you're going to want to save this to your computer as a JPEG and then you can just send it to your printer as a normal photo. So as you can see, this was a really simple process. And again, it is something you can use over and over again every month, as long as you remember to save it as a Photoshop document once you have all of your boxes created. So now I'm just gonna close out of this and I'm gonna show you how to open the Photoshop document that we created. So you're just gonna go to file, click open. I like to have a separate folder on my computer where I save all of my Photoshop templates. So I'm just going to go to that folder, select the template that we saved and click open. And you're going to see that I have a blank document and it is ready for me to embed my photos and create the clipping masks. And this is what I use month after month. You just have to repeat the steps that I showed you before with the place embedded create clipping mask and then free transform. Now here is a sample photo that I created for my December happy planning. And you can see how all of the boxes are full of photos. They're all sized perfectly to fit within my happy planner. 
and I just love how simple and easy this process is and I love that I can fit 20 photos on a single eight and a half by 11 piece of photo paper. So I do have a, another scrap chat video that I created going over the pros and cons of the happy planner how to get started with happy planning and then how i stay up to date and on track i will make sure to link to that video if that is something that you're interested in watching i hope that you found this tutorial helpful please leave any questions or comments in the comments below and i am happy to answer any questions that you have i hope you all have a great day